Welcome back to the Star Bazaar and to another Battlefront 2 news update. We've got a lot to talk about today, including the upcoming nerfs coming to Anakin Skywalker and when we can expect the new Capital Supremacy map. Let's check it out. But real quick, before we do, if you guys enjoy the coverage today, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing if you're new for more Battlefront 2 videos like this. And now, on to the news. Starting off with the newly released community calendar for the month of May, we now know what our in-game events will be this month, including the release date for the May update, which is bringing the Heroes vs. Villains rework, as well as a new map to Capital Supremacy. It's a bit interesting, they're releasing this calendar a week into May, since the first item on the calendar is the Princess Leia event we had in Capital Supremacy, where we got to unlock her new skin. Now that that is all over and done with, the next event is a fast spawn event in Blast and Strike modes on May 10th to the 12th, where both modes will have only a 1 second spawn timer. I remember really enjoying Strike mode with the reduced timer when they had that last time, so I'm pretty happy about that. After that, on the weekend of the 17th to the 19th, we will have a new style of event called Foot Soldiers, where there will be no playable ground or air vehicles in Galactic Assault and Capital Supremacy for the duration of the event. This was actually community requested. A lot of us wanted to try the large scale modes with no vehicles, so we'll see how this goes. After that, we have the big one. On May 22nd, we have this month's game update, featuring changes to the mechanics of the Heroes vs. Villains game mode and a new map to the Capital Supremacy mode. We don't know which map is coming to CS just yet, but we have an official release date, May 22nd, which is honestly a whole week before I expected the update to drop. After the game update, we have our last event for May, a split XP weekend on the 24th through the 26th, where it will be double XP in Heroes vs. Villains and Hero Showdown, and triple experience in Starfighter Assault and Hero Starfighters. Some pretty solid events this month, and we're only two weeks away from the game update itself, but that is it for the community calendar. Now, let's move on to the patch notes that we just got this morning, and for those who are not aware, there will be a hotfix in Battlefront 2 tomorrow, May 8th. This hotfix is meant to address the balance of Anakin by bringing some changes to him, his abilities, and his star cards, as well as a few other hero adjustments. Since the vast majority of the changes are for Anakin specifically, let's go over what is changing with the Chosen One so that you know what to expect tomorrow. Also, keep in mind that his in-game battle point cost should be returning to normal with this hotfix. But the first change coming to Anakin is a nerf to his Heroic Might's cooldown time to help reduce how often he can use it, from 14 seconds to 18 seconds. Next, his Retribution's charge-up speed from friendly damage taken has been reduced from 2% every 100 damage to 1.33% for every 100 damage. So basically what this means is that Retribution will charge more slowly when Anakin's teammates take damage. Next, his Tenacious Star card is getting a nerf by 50%, so the bonus health Anakin will receive from that card will be cut in half. Currently, it grants 50, 100, 150, and 200 bonus health respectively, depending on the card's level, and after the patch, it will only grant 25, 50, 75, and 100 bonus health. Anakin's base lightsaber damage is also getting reduced, from 140 to 130. His Massive Strikes star card, which gives his base lightsaber attacks more damage, is also getting nerfed, going from 10, 15, 20, and 25 more damage, down to 5, 10, 15, and 20 more damage, depending on the card's level. So in total, Anakin is losing a possible 15 damage from his base lightsaber attacks with this patch. Retribution's effect has now also been delayed by 5 frames as well, but I'm not too sure what that means. That could mean he takes longer to activate it, or the ability ends sooner. We'll have to see after tomorrow. An issue has also been fixed where Retribution will now only charge when damage from enemies is taken. Before, your teammates could, for example, jump off an edge and kill themselves to charge your ability. But now, only when you and your teammates take damage from enemies will Retribution charge up. And the final fix is a maximum value increase for Retribution per damage event. So basically, no more instantly charging up the ability. It will actually take a while to charge, as it should. Those are the changes coming to Anakin Skywalker, and man, before I go on, let me know how you feel about this in the comments. Anakin has been a pretty touchy subject because there are those who are completely sick of seeing him, and those who are worried that these changes will make him less than he should be. He is the Chosen One after all. 
But what do you think of these changes? Do you think they'll finally bring balance back to Battlefront 2? We can't be sure until tomorrow, but let me know what you think in a comment below. Besides Anakin, a few other heroes are getting some fixes in this patch. Count Dooku had a small bug where exposed weakness would not go on cooldown when you use it while dashing. This will be fixed in the patch, as well as an issue with Darth Maul who could not block if affected by Obi-Wan's mind trick. That was the one thing holding Maul back after he got his block, so I'm glad it's getting fixed. And finally, the last change in this hotfix is a fix to Bosk, who actually could one-shot enemy heroes if the Bosk player zoomed out right before their Relby's shot was fully charged. That's a terrible bug, and now that I know it was a thing, I'm remembering a few unusual deaths I had involving Bosk, and it all makes sense now. Good thing that is getting fixed, but that is it for the patch notes and today's Battlefront 2 news update. Once again, the release date for the new Capital Supremacy map and the Heroes vs. Villains rework is May 22nd, two weeks from tomorrow. If you guys like the coverage today, hit that thumbs up button for me and consider subscribing if you're a new viewer. That's going to do it from me. I appreciate you all stopping by the bazaar. This has been your boy, Turkish Delight, and I'll see you all out on the battlefront. Peace.